Well, there we go. I feel like that sets up the premise of today's video. What's up, boys and girls? Welcome back to Clown World. Today, we're going to be having a look at kind of shocking videos that I've been sent over the past week, with the last one honestly being very shocking. I, I, I saw it's been uploaded to a bunch of places. Some people have been like taking it down. I don't know why. Like, I think people should see this. The fact that a fully grown adult made it is really disturbing. So, but to be honest with you, they're all pretty disturbing, including this one right here. People are really out here saying that trans Chuchi is the inferior product. I'm sorry. We have the designer expensive bougie coochie. Like you're telling me if someone says, would you like this free paper bag that came with my groceries? Or would you like this $35,000 bag? You're taking the designer Birkin, babe. Like seriously, you're just mad because trans girls don't want to put trash like you in our designer bag. Ow, girlfriend, that wasn't very nice. Guys, what a beautiful analogy, hey? What a beautiful way, I suppose, just to sum it up. <laughs> On the one hand, we have uh, a trash bag. Ew. No, thank you. On the other hand, we apparently have a designer bag that's worth around about $35,000. Yeah, name it whatever the f you want. That whole conversation that we just had there, pretty disgusting. I feel like you didn't really need to upload that to the internet. Kind of goes with the whole theme of a lot of these videos. There's about 60%, I would say, of content on YouTube that doesn't really need to be uploaded. Probably my videos included. Ha. <laughs> make that joke before anyone else does. Hey, but at least I'm not using a paper bag analogy for uh, down there. The bar is set pretty low, guys, and I don't think we've got that close yet. Who knows, though? By the end of today's video, we may be crossing that threshold. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. It gets way worse, believe me. You also plan to make important investments to uh, address the roadway safety crisis, including the critical funding that would accelerate the development, and this is an area I've, I've written to you about, of the use of female uh, dummies in crash testing. This will start to fight the gender inequity among vehicle safety and crash victims. Holy shit, guys. Jimmy Savile's back. Yeah, guys, because as you all fully well know about now, your car, before getting into a crash, really cares what you have in between your legs. Sometimes, I gotta admit, I will wake up in a cold sweat just knowing there's not any women crash dummy dolls. Do you guys wake up in a cold sweat sometimes? And if you don't, wow, sexist. A common theme at this point is literally to say who cares, but really actually who cares? You think because you're now gonna have female dolls as crash dummies, what? Crashes in cars are gonna suddenly plummet to 0%? Like every government being in debt now, I, I feel like there's probably better ways to spend that budget. Female crash dolls, I just don't feel like is really a top priority about now. <laughs> Y'all really wanna try to say there aren't trans kids? Let me tell you what there aren't. There aren't cis kids, okay? You telling your child, oh, you're a boy, you're a girl. This is a child. This is a free spirit that has not learned any of that bullshit until you force it on them. Sounds quite familiar, doesn't it, guys? Sounds like they're almost projecting the way that they are literally acting. We don't care, by the way, if they're gay, straight, whatever. But yes, you absolutely do have a gender assigned to you at birth. It's just the way it is. When was the last time you guys saw a transgender lion? Oh yeah, that's right. That doesn't exist. If it's something you want to transition later in life, go for it. No one has an issue with that. But they're basically now saying that's the issue. The issue here is that we're just as evil, if not worse, because we give them assigned genders at birth Ooh. to a baby that's literally sh himself every seven minutes. I just don't think that's particularly care at that age. <laughs> I may be wrong. Who knows? I don't have a kid yet. Maybe when I have one, who knows at this point, I might even be able to give birth to one. And when I do, when I misgender it, I wonder if my baby's going to sit up straight with a pipe, <laughs> and a pair of glasses. He's going to say, mother, because I'm, I'm a mother now. Why did you say I was a boy? Yeah, but I just, I just don't think that your baby's top priority right there is necessarily that if they want to change that decision later on in life. Go for it. So cisness is the wound. Cisness is the delusion. Cisness is the lie. Cisness is the place of pain. Transness is the healing. Transness is the growth. Transness is the truth. Transness is what we actually are. We are fluid. We are 70% water. We are God. God is change. God is trans. We are trans. Why is it like I'm just watching a video right now of Kanye being off of his 
medication. Just because you repeat stuff and you say it like that, bro, doesn't mean it's true all of a sudden. We're like 70% of water. We are God. We're like whatever we want to. Okay, dude, like, <laughs> my guy, chill. You are forcing your kids to be boys and girls. We're saying be whatever you are, baby. Be free, be water, be light, be sky, be God, because guess what? That's what we actually are. What we actually are is trans, is change, is love. We're not the ones doing the forcing. And see God chiming just on time. I got a really messaged him just then on WhatsApp saying, shut up, my child. <laughs> be quiet. Well, I'll tell you what, when I have my kid, maybe at the age of one week, if he turns around and tells me he doesn't like it, if he tells me that at the age of one week, I will be so impressed. Sure, let him be whatever he wants at that point. Like when, when was the last time a one week year old argued the fact on what gender they were? Now in this next clip, I'm sure a lot of you guys have probably seen this going around the internet. It's a, a new policy that Canada are trying to put in. And why it kind of doesn't actually sound that bad on the surface, obviously, I definitely think there are some things to be said here. But let's take a look at the clip. Firstly. Firstly, it enables the Attorney General to create a 2S LGBTQI plus community safety zone to prohibit within 100 meters of the property any homophobic, transphobic act of intimidation, threat, offensive threats, offensive remarks, protest, disturbance, and distribution of hate propaganda within the meaning of the uh, criminal code. It also comes with it a penalty of $25,000 if prosecuted successfully. Lady Gaga on the back, real happy about this one. They don't care, bro. I, 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 politicians are the last ones to actually really give a sh**. As long as they have your vote, they don't care. As long as you're paying your taxes, sure, be whatever you want. You're going to vote for me? Yeah, bro, I totally support that. Oh, yeah, I love those Bud Light commercials recently. Yeah, you still got to vote for me, right? Epic. Then be whatever you want. Also, we can now slap another $25,000 fine on people. Does that mean if I was to make these videos in Canada and there happened to be someone that was transgender within that radius, I'm being transphobic and I'm going to be slapped with one of like. What does that mean? And the only issue that I really have, and by the way, I'm going to say this, right? Because of course, yeah, dude, it goes without saying. You don't need a new policy to not be a sh person. But where does the line really cross there with free speech? For example, people making videos like this. I feel personally I'm allowed to do this. It's free speech. If they have a video of reacting to me and saying they disagree with me, that's also fine. That's their freedom of speech. They are allowed to do so. The only issue I do have in Canada when they had this, I know there was a bunch of protests recently where this one guy was literally standing there listening to the protest, really not being aggressive or anything like that. Generally, just listening. A bunch of transgender people literally went up to him and started punching him. And he showed the police in Vancouver the footage and they just basically laughed at him and said, oh, well, we can't do anything about that. But you know fully well, if it was the other way around, if he went in there and punched one of them, whoa, he would have been arrested quicker than you can say, cis male. Generally though, like it is kind of insane. You can't have one rule for one person and then a different rule for different people. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. You're going too far the other way. He even recorded it and got it on camera, it showed the police officers as well, by the way, and they, they literally did nothing. Well, well, not much we can do. I just know fully well if it was the other way around. Oh, suddenly, suddenly it is something they very much can do. Now, with this clip being the most disturbing, and generally speaking, I saw this going around Twitter the other day, doing its runs, and it's just one of those videos where you just watch and you're just really in disbelief while seeing it. But let's watch it and uh, we'll talk about it afterwards. If you back a wild animal into a corner, they're going to become a dangerous animal. So if you want to die on that hill of yours of righteousness and moral majority, then you go right ahead. I dare you to try and stop me from going into a women's bathroom. It will be the last mistake you ever make. I dare you to try and stop a transgender woman in my presence from using the bathroom. It will be the last mistake you ever make. Real life Discord mod right here, guys. Be scared. Like if you're generally talking about threatening people with their lives because of something like this, is it really that big of a deal where you go bathroom? To the point where you feel it's then necessary that and gives you the right to end someone else's life, really. But remember, we're the most enlightened, accepting community there is, man. Like we just love everybody. We don't think we love everyone. We'll take anyone in, unless you disagree with us. Then I will take one thing: your life. <laughs> like, for, like, what are you waffling on about? This is a call to action and a call to arms to everybody within the United States that are scared, worried have children that are transgender, lesbian, bi, or gay, this is a call to action. 
you need to arm up. Plain and simple. Go out, buy a gun, learn how to use it. Yeah, and then bring it to the nightclub. What a what great advice that is, hey? Everybody is so worried around about now. I have the solution. Everybody needs to arm up. That will bring people down. That will make people way less stressed. I sure am a genius. Efficiently. Through and through. Because the time to act is now. You need to protect yourself and you need to protect your fellow transgender brothers and sisters and theys and thems. You need to protect the rest of us in the LGB community. I kind of really wish you just named every, like, every single gender. <laughs> like, the video is just like a five hour long video. He has to name like thousands. Zay Zems, uh, they, the, where, when, uh, um, <laughs> you already know, like, even probably some people watching this probably actually got offended as well, right? You can't please everyone. There's probably people watching this that were like, he didn't, he left out my gender. Is he not protecting me? I'm offended. <laughs> as I'm going to do myself because there are lots of people like me who are not afraid to die. I love my girlfriends to death, but I would rather die for them to secure their safety, freedom, and future than to live and not have anything done. So you go ahead, you protect your kids. Just don't let your kids on TikTok. That's all I'm saying. I would rather die knowing that I can pee in a different toilet. R like, really? Really? That's really epic. I'm happy for you. Everyone needs a passion, I guess. Honestly, uh, a pretty disgusting video with absolutely just no justification for it. And that goes without saying, if this, if someone made a video like this, regardless of their skin color or their gender, it's disgusting. It generally is disgusting. I don't know. I thought it was actually a wild one, especially that last one. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Should there be some consequences to saying this type of stuff online? I feel like freedom of speech is great, but then threatening to, you know, end people's lives, kind of crossing that line because they don't agree with you. But anyway, boys and girls, hope you found today's video interesting. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.